Hey Anthony, what's going on? This is Holden. I just want to send you over this video like you asked for. And in this video, I just want to show you a few things you can do to really increase the traffic to your business, get some more customers in the door and beat out your competition online. You know, in today's day and age, everybody's looking for what they want on Google, right? And if you can't get found in the search results, then you're just having a hard time getting found. And a lot of times the only hesitation I see that people have to hiring someone for this sort of thing is they just don't know who the experts are and who they're not. And I definitely know within this, uh, the shortage of supplies that we have, right? You know, there's there's some things that you have to target just to keep yourself going. Um, you know, whether it be cellulose or fiberglass, whatever other services you offer, you know, roofing, concrete leveling. Uh, we just want to make sure that we're promoting those things so that you're getting found for those specific things, right? So just to jump right in, um, this is your website right here, man. It looks real nice. I love the way it's laid out, and I absolutely love Fort Lauderdale. Jealous if you live in there. Um, when it comes to optimization, the first thing that Google really looks at for optimization is content. They like to see about 1,500 words of content on your homepage alone. Now this is a free tool you can pick up yourself. It's called SEO Quake, and it pulls some metrics off of your, your website, and it shows me you have 756 words of content on your homepage. So you're falling short of that 1,500 that Google really likes for optimization. Uh, the next thing as far as content goes, you know, there's, there's this uh, thing called keywords. That's what people search in this search bar right here to find you, you know, spray foam insulation near me, spray foam Fort Lauderdale, insulation, concrete leveling, all those things. You need to make sure you're adding those keywords into the content on your homepage. That way Google can match what people are searching for with the most relevant content out there. Uh, and, and on SEO Quake, you can actually see what keywords you have on your homepage. And then this guy, he's your top competitor out there. Uh, you can use SEO Quake as well and see what keywords he's using on his homepage so that you can add those into yours and make sure that you're, you're gathering as many of those keywords as possible. The next thing I want to show you over here, this is called the local map pack. And what the way you get into this, you know, is by getting your name, address and phone number out there as many times as possible into as many directors as possible. That's things like Yellow Pages, Facebook and Yelp. And if your competition has 50 of these directories, make sure you're going out and getting 150. That way you can sit up here at the top and not have to worry about getting bumped off to the second, third or just off this thing completely, you know. Um, and, and like I said, just make sure you're getting more than your competitor. I usually go out for about a hundred of these things just, just to be sure. Uh, now the next area down here, I want to show you, this is called the, the organic area and you, I think are sitting right here at number two. So the way you want to get up to this number one, this is where a lot of the conversion of traffic is, right? And that's only for this specific keyword, spray foam insulation Fort Lauderdale. So it could be for many keywords. You might not be the first, but just for this specific one, you're sitting at number two. And, you know, nobody is going down here to where the ads are, and they're definitely not going to the second, third, or fourth page of Google, right? That might as well be the moon. This is where all the money is made. And the way you get into this is kind of looking at Google itself like a popularity contest. There's all these things called backlinks that are basically like votes of confidence or popularity. The more of these links that you have from other websites linking to your website, the more popular and relevant your page seems to Google. And, and they give you this vote of confidence and we'll bump you up to the top. Now, not all backlinks are created equal. You do not want to go out getting backlinks made from Pizza Hut or a pizza place, you know, linking to your spray foam insulation company because Google will realize that that has nothing to do with it and they'll deduct you points and then you'll get bumped down on this list. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you over here, this is a tool I pay about $1,000 a month for. And it's not perfect, but it does show me a lot of what's going on with your website. It, it buys data directly from Google. And it shows me that you're getting found organically through search results only six times a month. So six, six times a month, someone is clicking on your website through the search results. Additionally, you have 52 of those keywords that people are searching for. And then over here, this is where those links are that I was telling you about. You have two websites linking back to your website two times. And this is your domain rank and URL rank. Now, this is a ranking that Google gives you based on how you're doing comparatively to other websites in your industry, right? And it's showing not available. And I would say that that's probably just because you don't, you don't have any backlinks. You have two of them, right? And they may not be very strong backlinks. So you need to make sure you're going out there and getting those strong backlinks from relevant websites. So just to reiterate, the three things I want you to take a look at are content, making sure you get at least 1,500 words on your homepage. Additionally, to uh, enter in those keywords that I was telling you about that you see here, looking at your competitors, find out those keywords that people are using that people are searching for. And then if you want to get into this local map pack when people are searching for near me or Fort Lauderdale, you know, the way you do that is getting your name, address, and phone number into directories, things like yellow pages. And then finally, if you want to get bumped up to the top of this organic area and get the most conversion, you have to go out and find these, these backlinks, right? Make sure you're finding relevant backlinks and that'll bump you up in that organic area and get you the most traffic.
So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you wouldn't mind, just give me a message back and let me know what you thought of the video. If you want to chat some more, uh, shoot me a message and we can talk. And if not, that's totally fine. I just ask that you please do implement these things because they definitely will help your website out and get you some more customers in the door. All right. I appreciate it. Have a good one, man.